Portugal prepare for their quarter-final showdown. It isn't, of course, unique to them, but having made it so far, you do sense a real belief now. The ultimate prize at the start of it all seemed so distant. Now it seems so very, very real. Something they can reach out and almost touch. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. That was impressive. Match that. Portugal still quite to reach the level they should be at, according to their manager. And he says it is his duty to make that happen. Yeah, a classic case of managers not wanting to get ahead of themselves and to keep their players in, in the present, to stop them from thinking too far ahead too. What's directly in front of you is far more important. They can't let that focus wander. So it's away we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? One of the game's best ever, Cristiano Ronaldo. He brings a power to whatever he does and his unquenchable thirst for goals is always an enjoyable sideshow. It's very rare he fails to leave his mark. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his... And the finish! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Look, there are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to uh, to go at this. Goes to finish! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. He's missed, but not by that far. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, and the shot! And that's caused a worry or two. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Daniel Alves, Thiago Silva. Keeper's got good distance on that. Gabriel Jesus, Vinicius Junior. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Arthur. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Jota. And here's Roberto Firmino. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Tries to dink it in, questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And they've been caught out here. 
Arthur positions himself well and cuts it out. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Vinicius Junior, Lucas Moura, and here's Dani Alves. Great challenge, time to perfection. Dani Alves plays it back in. Played out to the right. Hoists it high. Gabriel tries a shot! William Carvalho plays it forward. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. And it's Firmino. He's through the middle. Now it's Lu Lucas Moura! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. That's not going far. And here's Casemiro. Casemiro, it's Casemiro! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Mario Rui. Mario Rui clips one through. Jota, he's left his man. And he's there to clear it. Out for a throw. Played into the middle, and he's cut it out. Thiago Silva tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Lucas Moura. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's in! Danny Alves with the cross. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. William Carvalho. Firmino. He's had a shot! He's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. They've played it short. Brazil with another corner. Oh, it's opened up nicely. Hits one! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. Portugal failed to capitalise in stoppage time, so we are as we were. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Portugal will probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. The mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half-full, and it should spur them on. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Already up and running for the second half. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be... Brazil have a free kick.
more can we get that? Mario Rui. William Carvalho. Jota. Lobs it in gently. Thiago Silva is there and he can get that clear. Arthur. Lucas Moura. And it's Firmino. Bruno Fernandes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Neto gets it upfield. Jota. He gets past his man. Chance to shoot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Arthur. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Vinicius. Vinicius Junior! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Brazil can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Forward it goes. Casemiro. Hoists it forward. Ronaldo takes the long option. And they can face to face with the keeper. Shoots! Oh, it's there! And finally, he has breathed life into the game. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fill that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. But there's going to be another change here. Portugal have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Jota. A heavy challenge. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's off on a marauding and it's looking safe. 
Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So that's two now without reply. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Bruno Fernandes. Time and again, they are repelled. Keeper sends it forward. Now it's Neymar. Now, can he capitalise? Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. <laughs> this defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Bruno Fernandes, looking for goal! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. You may well regret that, you know. Thiago Silva goes looking. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. Cristiano Ronaldo. And that has been clubbed away. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Now just moments away from a semi-final place. Diogo Dallo battles to win it back. Oh, that is asking for trouble. That could spell trouble. It's one! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Oh, that's a, an agonising miss. Just pure agonising. He's got options out wide, gets away from his opponents. Christian going for goal! It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Ruben Neves. Cristiano Ronaldo. Jota collects the ball from behind. Lucas Moura. Here come Brazil on the counter. Brazil get it back again. Diogo Dallo drives it forward. And in time is up. And there goes the whistle. So now do you believe? You have to. Just two more steps to glory. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff. That's what gets you clean sheets and wins.